Hi guys, it's Macky Pussy here and we're back with another lyric video We are now on to the second song of the album This song I decided to work on, it's called Penguins It's probably the saddest song on the album, it's about my mum dying So I'll go in and I'll just, uh, like, I'll bring up the lyrics and I'll just go through the lyrics I'll explain why I've picked what I've picked and what I've done And then that's, that's the video pretty much, it's just me telling you a sad story so let's go let's go in and do that I wanted to write a song about my mum and how I felt about the whole situation with her dying. I didn't know what, what it was that I wanted to say about the situation, I just knew that I wanted to speak about it. I felt an urge to get it out there, but I didn't actually know what to say. I came on stream and I asked the people who were in the chat to just throw some of their favourite kind of sad words at me. And I, my hope was that I could, that that would trigger some kind of response for me and they gave me fractal and schadenfreude and, and i was like okay so then i kind of strung that together into upon reflection these fractal deceptions a schadenfreude lost in a haze i could have this wrong and if i have this wrong then this is going to be awkward schadenfreude if i'm pronouncing that correctly i think is when you get pleasure in someone else's pain. For me, that opening sentence is is basically me saying, looking back upon it, upon, upon reflection, looking back upon it, I, my memories in st of this situation, like I've kind of basically sat there and built myself in my mind this miserable picture that I can sit miserable in and put it out to people as though it was like this absolutely horrible situation. I don't know, I feel like any time I speak about it it's kind of performative in some kind of way and then that is like performative misery. Even the act of writing this song is kind of performative misery and I shouldn't be taking any kind of pleasure from that but I kind of do a little bit. Like I enjoy having sitting there with my guitar and writing this song. And then, so then in my head I was like, well, I'm basically taking all these different things, like memories and feelings and feelings and then bring them together into this hole to make the saddest song that I can because that makes me happy. And that's a weird kind of turn the events for it to be like that. Everywhere I saw, those penguins on the walls. So that was my thinking of that was my last memory is when I was at the funeral and I was lowering the casket into the ground. So I didn't cry at all when my mum died. I don't know why, but I, I haven't cried at all since my dad died. And that was like nine months before my mum. I cried once when my dad died and I haven't cried since. It's been about 14 years since, since I've cried at all. When I was when we were lowering the casket into the ground, I heard someone crying and I looked behind me and it was like my friends were in a row, there was like five of them standing in a row. The one friend who had never met my mum was howling. I just got really confused by that. And that's always stuck with me, I just got really, I was just like, as I was lowering into the ground, I was just like, why is he crying? It's really weird, but then because they're in like their black and white suits, they look like they look like a line of penguins, and it was, you know, the whole thing in my head is basically my mum was suffering. She was like, it wasn't like a quick thing. It took about six months from initial prognosis until the end. Really upset, and and, and I mean it's a sad time, but at the same time I was kind of like relieved. I had made my peace with it by the time it happened and I was kind of just happy is a strong word for it but glad that it was over and she wasn't in pain anymore like I, th I think that makes sense though and then like so then that's the first verse basically it's me jumbling it was, in my head was me trying to jumble together wow how exactly do I feel about this 
situation. But I was trying to do it as lyrically as possible. And then I figured, fuck it. I'm just going to take a turn and just be bluntly straightforward about, like, stuff. So, the chorus, I could visit your grave a mile away, but it's too late to hear you say that you were proud of me. Uh, like, I wasn't that great, really, when she died. You know what I mean? I was like, I was fucking about with my friends, drinking a lot. I had a part-time job that I had, that I had for like a couple of months at that point. It was my first job because I was like 25 when I got my first job. I just fucked about with the band the entire time. Two days before she died, I got made full-time and got promoted. But by that point, she wasn't responsive anymore. So it was like, I was able to tell her, but I wasn't able to hear if that pleased her or not. And then since then, it's like, I've learned to drive, I've stopped drinking, I've gotten married, I now have my own house, I've got this, which she would be quite impressed by. I feel like it maybe took my parents passing away for the safety net to be removed from my life, which then forced me into doing stuff that I needed to do to become an adult. I feel like I spent most of my early 20s as an utter fucking child who just happened to be old enough to be allowed to do whatever he wanted. So then the second verse was me talking about the very last time that I was able to see her where she was lucid. I went in and her hair was a mess. So, cause she just woke up. So I kind of like, I brushed her hair for her and we, I took a wee photo, which I'm kind of gutted cause I don't have any more. And but like, I kind of brushed her hair and we were like, I just want to be laughing a joke and stuff because my brother and sister kept trying, like my sister was very much kind of, oh God, oh God, the sky has fallen. And my brother was very much, we need to get everything organized before you go so that we're, uh, we're structured. Whereas I was like, every time I went to see her, I was kind of just like, I just want to sit and talk to you and get to know you. Like, I, I'm running out of time to get to know you as a person. You've always just been my mum, but I want to know who Mary is. Tell me about when you were a wee. Like, just talk to me about your fucking life, because I don't have time to find out anymore. Latin, like, like in a natural way, you need to just info dump me. And we're just kind of sitting, we'd laugh and we'd joke and we'd just talk shit. And then the last thing she ever did was when I was saying cheerio, she kind of reached up grabbed me by the chin and told me that I needed to shave, I told her to shut the fuck up and, and I left. Now that I think about it, possibly the very last thing I told my mum was that I ever said to my mum was to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Highly inappropriate. But yeah, okay. Like the very end bit is just we're running out of time, always running out of time. That's not so much about my mum in particular, but more the overarching theme of in general like make the best of your relationships that you've got around you because whether you know it or no you're always running out of time i probably did say goodbye in the way I, I mean i must have done <laughs> it, would, it would definitely have been in like the last 10 sentences <laughs> no out of character it's no out of character <laughs> let's be honest that's penguins that's what penguins is about it is unabashedly absolutely fucking miserable so fortunately I have managed to write music and melodies that are just as miserable as the lyrics. So look forward to future videos where we lay this bad boy out. I went all in, all in in this song. Is it's I honestly couldn't have written a, a more miserable song if I tried, and I've and I have tried. Trust me. Thank you for watching, guys. That was the story behind the song Penguins. If you're at all interested in hearing how it turns out, feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel. The, the series will be ongoing. I've been Mark Abusi. Thank you very much, guys, for watching, and I will see you next time.